Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we're in San Antonio, Texas at the annual meeting of the Society of Thoracic Surgeons. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Chris Malazery, who's a leading aortic valve and aneurysm specialist at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago, Illinois. Dr. Malazery, you and I have known each other for a long time. It is great to see you again, and thanks so much for being with me today. Thank you very much, Adam. Yeah, so we are answering patient questions here at the conference, and we got a great one that just came in from Jeff. And Jeff asks, has there been any progress made on fixing aortic aneurysms via catheter? I heard there may be a method where a material is inserted in the aorta at the aneurysm site to keep the aneurysm from expanding. Yeah, sometimes aneurysms need to be treated, but they do not need to all be treated with open surgery. Some patients can get a treatment called thoracic endovascular aortic repair. So you hear TVAR often said, T-E-V-A-R, and that's a procedure that doesn't involve open incisions. We can deliver a graft through the groin artery and deploy the endovascular stent graft inside the aorta. It'll line the aorta exclude the aneurysm from the circulation and prevent it from rupturing. Well, I've got to ask you a follow-up, Dr. Malazri, if I'm a patient, I also need my aortic valve replaced. Is there a combination TVAR and TAVR, or is that prohibitive? We also have that procedure for patients with aortic valve disease. So imagine a stent with a valve inside it. So the stent is made out of metal and some fabric. The valve is a working valve. We can also crimp that onto a very small catheter that is also delivered through an artery, usually from the uh, groin, and we can deploy that valve inside the heart without open heart surgery. It's fascinating, the innovation that you're doing in Northwestern Medicine. I just wanna make sure, can you do both procedures at the same time during one operation? Both procedures can be done at the same time. We try to avoid it. If the patient has aortic stenosis, we're gonna do the TAVR first. If the patient has an aneurysm, that'll follow after the treatment of aortic stenosis. Great, well, Dr. Malazri, on behalf of all the patients in our community, patients all over the world, thanks so much for everything you're doing Thank at you. Northwestern Medicine. Thank you very much, Adam. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.